Hello, good morning. It's Tom and Callum and welcome to Soft Talk ASMR, a chance to relax and be present. How are you today? Enjoying the peace and quiet here, giving Callum a little walk. Callum's got his little coat on today. Hello Callum. You're watching the birds, are you? The birds. Hello Callum. There's a squirrel up there in the tree. So you've probably seen it already, I made a, a really good amount of progress early this morning. I uh, did a video in the high street. First time I've been down there, walking down there in a long time. So if you haven't seen it, have a, have a little look at that video. If, um, if you're suffering from the effects of PTSD from trauma, you'll, you'll know the difficulties of how the body becomes sensitized and on edge and the nerves are sensitized and of course with so many deep-rooted emotions connected with the experience of trauma it can be very detrimental on the body and the mind so to be able to deal with agoraphobia and anxiety and sensitization is um, it's marvelous to be able to find those little pockets of time when the body the mind is feeling settled and that's when I take the opportunities to go out and be present be out and that's why I made this channel to hopefully encourage others to allow this to be a source of support and encouragement for others who may be struggling. There we are, railway junction, you're probably getting used to this location now. <laughs> here in the woods got our friends the parakeets for company in the background
So I know these videos may not suit everybody and that's fine. I know that uh, as I'm beginning to understand now, people's attention spans are short. Getting shorter it seems. So really these videos are aimed for those that prefer to take a slower, gentle approach to their being and just take time out to appreciate and admire being present and uh, just allowing everything to carry on around them and not be phased because that's one of the biggest aspects of trying to deal with sensitization and anxiety and panic not to be phased by what's around you just to completely accept everything and just carry on enjoying life being with that flow of life I've learnt the earth energy the trees are beginning to give me that sense of trust really allowing me to feel at ease and that's great Mm, that's interesting, the camera's uh, doing a little bit of movement. I'm not moving yet. Mm, very interesting. The Earth speaks, as we know. The Earth is trying to communicate. Sorry about the noisy van there. I really should get a selfie stick. I oh, know. I have got one actually indoors. Before I became ill, I, I used to used to do so much and you know I was always laughing, joking at things. I haven't always been a serious person. But like I say, when you go through trauma, it can be pretty devastating. It can change you. But you can refine yourself, as I'm beginning to realise. Let's count and see. Callum. There you go. There's a good boy. Hello, Callum. I do feel that a lot of people are very short in terms of patience, of understanding those who are suffering from trauma. And I think the only people that really know what it's like are unfortunately the people who've been through it themselves. Um, those that actually really do know what it feels like to be in total and utter desperation. I really hope I am providing some source of comfort here because to go through it and really to see it through into a new way of being, a new dawn, a new beginning, which is what I'm starting to feel, I can't tell you how great that is. You will get better, you can get better if you're suffering, you can. Oh, that was pleasant. I had a little chat with somebody I've never met before. Had two little pug dogs, little black pug dogs. And he made a fuss of Callum, the owner, and that was lovely. See, I've... Two and a half to three years ago, when I stopped going out... I stopped seeing people, stopped meeting people, and um, I've I've got out of that routine of mixing with people and talking to people with people. So it's all good stuff. How did it get up there? Eh?
piece of thick branch. <laughs> yes, if you're struggling, please take comfort in my words. You will, you can get better. Remember, intent is a strong thing and if you hold the intent to get better, we're all co-creators, it will it will begin to happen for you. Hello Callum. Have you ever seen Vicar Dibley? J Jim? No, no. No parking on the upper field. No, 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 yes. There we are, short video, well, 11 minute video. Just continue doing what you're doing, keep going out, keep, keep trying to go out if you're suffering with agoraphobia and just allow every little opportunity that comes your way to melt into being on the land, being with the land, trusting in the land. Really try and connect with it know that it is here supporting you there is more than we've ever known the earth is talking with us it wants to help you have I said too much? <laughs> hopefully hopefully you can resonate with this Let's just turn the camera around so we can say goodbye. Bye bye. There we are. Callum with the little coat. I mean it though, you can get better, you will get better. As ever, with loving kindness, I shall talk to you soon. Take care.